up, everybody. <clears throat> I gotta figure out what colors are half off, but we'll just start throwing stuff in the cart until I figure it out. Um, blue's half off. Yellow, blue, yellow, white, blue, yellow, white, red. So everything but green's half off. Browning jacket. Gucci right there. Throw that in the cart. All right. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome in, everybody. Let's try to get to these really quick. We'll go back. Go back to the beginning of the aisle in a second. Gotta love when you start out the morning with a little Patagucci. Weatherproof, weatherproof. Joseph A. Bank. It's 40 bucks. I'm probably pass on that one. Scent blocker? Never heard of that one. <clears throat> Talking some K-Way fishing. Let's go. It's a North Face puffer, but it's too much. 25 bucks is a little too much for that one. Happy Earth. Is that a good brand? Happy Earth. I might look this up. Never heard of that brand before. Throw in the cart just to be safe. Tommy Bahama. I'm gonna throw that in the cart too. I don't know what that's made out of, but that might be worth something too. Kind of feels like it's wool. Scent blocker is a solid pickup. We'll throw that in the cart. Scent blocker. So North Face, half off. We'll scoop that North Face. Lots of North Face today. Let's go. Here's a $50 North Face. Which series is it? It's a wind wall. I'm not going to pay $50 for a wind wall. Scent blocker's hunting here? Okay, cool. We don't really hunt here in Florida, so that's one of the brands I... Not very familiar with. <clears throat> what are you doing here? We're um, looking for stuff to resell online for a profit. So we're going through thrift store right now. We come here every single week. So hit that follow button if you're new here. Um, looking for items to resell online for a profit. So Nike. It's a nice Nike fleece. It's only five bucks. I'll probably throw that in the cart. It's another North Face. This one has a T-Mobile hit on the front, but it's only eight bucks. We'll probably throw that in the cart as well. All right. Volume is down low, so can't hear. Oh, your your volume's, volume's down low? I thought you meant my volume is down low. I was about to say, mine isn't down low. All right, let's go through the jeans. We'll circle back to the jackets. There was another guy that was thrifting the jacket section. I didn't want to really get in his way, so. <clears throat> Who's gonna buy a T-Mobile jacket? It's a North Face jacket though, that's why. It's a pickup still. It's only eight bucks. 
<clears throat> All right. Logos can be removed 100%. Um, where do you sell? I sell on eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, Facebook Marketplace. If you're new here, hit that follow button. I have tons of content here on TikTok going over exactly what I do. It's <clears throat> a little bit more competition here than there has been in previous weeks, but it's okay. There's probably still tons of stuff to pick up. We already have a basically a full cart from just the jacket section, so we've only been here for five minutes. Um, Kayla's also thrifting the um, the women's section as well. It's weird, like every other week there'll be like nobody here it's like last week, week there's nobody there's a ton of people here this week and then next week there'll be like nobody here uh what do you do numbers on tag mean um that's the price the price on the tag i don't know what the numbers below that means but the uh that's the price and then the color is the tag of the week so green tags are not half off everything else is half off today so Jean section's looking a little dry today. We're not hitting any good jeans. Polo jeans, Kirkland. Normally it's the end of the rack anyway that we find all the goodies. Levi's 550. These might actually be these now they're not vintage. Table that label looked a little old. <clears throat> Men Republic. skip some lucky brand jeans yes i did it was an older label i don't, I don't really like picking up the older labels they kind of sit too long for me so i tend to pass those up this pair of true religions how much are they asking there's no tag on them though i'm gonna throw these in the cart they might actually give me a good deal on these it's too bad they don't have a tag on them LL beans, but they're not flannel lined, unfortunately. Red wine blues jamming. Yeah, they always have they have decent music in this store. Depends on what day of the week. Sometimes they play hip hop, the other days they play rock. Pass on those bonobos. jeans did your wife grab um she, she, uh, she'll show you as soon as she gets back over here we'll show you the the jeans she's picking up uh, um, these men's or women's it's kind of look like women's i can't read the label i'll throw these in the cart for now they're only three bucks but they kind of look like women's if they're women's i'll end up leaving them it's a lucky brand but it's upside down another pair of sevens those are definitely women's sevens Check the pockets. Yes, I do. I check everything over at the end of the live. These are a pair of vineyard vines. Too much money for the vineyard vines. All right, we'll come back to the end of this aisle. We do want to check on one thing. There is one thing. That's the, somebody just said, a Harley shirt. We're going to look for the Harley shirt right now. find it. it was somewhere over here I don't see it though it's a hard rock rock aware duck head wrangler no I don't see the Harley shirt unfortunately it's like somebody scooped it yep 
Harley shirt's gone. Wah, wah, wah. This definitely would have been in that section if we if it was here. So there's a uh, there's a new rack over there. Let me go check the new rack and then we'll come back to this aisle. Car jeans don't sell for me that much. Um, I sell car hard jeans. I don't know if I pa did I pass a pair. I might have passed a pair. Nothing in the new rack. Nothing in the new rack. Did I pair? Okay. They're backwards. All right, we'll go back and grab them in a minute. Actually, well, I guess we'll go back right now. We'll just leave my cart here. first uh, Levi's 501s size 42 they would be half off so we'll probably take those for 10 bucks it's not bad for a pair of Levi's the other ones will pass those look too small Come right back. There's a there's a guy in the aisle. He's like standing right in front of the uh, standing right in front of the um, jeans that I'm trying to look at. By the way, never leave your cart abandoned like I just did in a thrift store. Never do it. Vineyard Vines. This is only $7.50. It does have a uh, embroidery on it, though. We'll leave it because it has an embroidery. Not really trying to mess around with embroidered ones. If it goes North Face, I'd pick it up. But it's an embroidered Vinny Vines. You get your cart then? No, I'll leave it there. I can see it from where I'm at. There's hardly anybody in the store, too. Yeah, I'm at Red, White, and Blue. Appreciate everybody hanging out. If you're not following, hit that follow button, top left-hand corner. We do this once a week. We normally have a pretty good crowd in here while we're doing it, so definitely hit that follow button. You get a notification as soon as I go live. Actually, we might go through the short sleeves. There's another guy in this aisle. I might just give him this aisle and go through the short sleeve aisle. I think that's what we're going to do. He's at the end of the aisle, and normally the end of the aisle is where all the good stuff is, all the new stuff. So let's go through the, let's go through the short sleeves. Lots of skipping around today. A few times a week, and you find treasure. Exactly. Somebody made a video about me this morning. I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna entertain it. Somebody was complaining that I'm doing live thrifts again. You always got at least one of those people. Bahama, Tory Richard. It's too plain of a Tory Richard though. We're gonna pass on that one. Hold your ground, hold your ground. No, we're, we'll go through that aisle afterwards. There's another Tory Richard they want too much for that one. If that was new with tags, I might consider it, but it's not. You know, after stops in New Jersey? I think you do. I've had a couple people come that are from New Jersey area. I'd say that uh, they thrift in that area. We have to drive a little bit out to, to find some good stores, but I'm sure you have something. If you don't have thrift stores, just go right to the source. Go right to the uh, people that want to donate. What are you looking for? I'm looking for brands with good resale value. If you're new here, hit that follow button. I have tons of content here on TikTok explaining exactly what I do. I do this uh, these lives multiple times a week. So hit that follow button. Yeah, check out some of my videos too. It'll kind of explain what I'm currently doing. 
is a good Tory Richard. This one's actually, I might actually pay up for this one because this is like a $40 Tory Richard and it feels like it's silk. So if it is, we'll scoop that one up. I'll look it up afterwards. Tropical. 25 year um, t shirt collection from thrifting. Nice. You can find tons of good stuff thrifting. You can see there's a lot of brands that probably some of you would pick up for yourself, but I'm passing on them. They just don't have good resale value. There's tons, tons in thrift stores. It's another Tory Richard. This one's a good one. This one is 100% silk, and this one would only be $4. It's half off. Everything but green tags is half off. Another Tory. Gotta love it when the Tories are hitting. There's a Lacoste. This is a short sleeve Lacoste, and this one's only five bucks. We'll scoop that one as well. Costs don't sell for as much as they used to, but they still sell. Jim Thompson. What is that? Is that like elephants on a hammock? Tommy Bahama is great. Yes, it is. I love picking up Tommy Bahama. We actually picked up a bunch here last week. I doubt they have any more because we pretty much scooped all the ones that they had left. If they have any left, it's going to be like plain Tommy Bahamas. Which neighborhoods are the best? Mm. In some cases, this store actually gets a lot of their stuff shipped to them, so it um, doesn't matter really, really where these stores are. Red, white, and blues, you can pretty much find good stuff in every red, white, and blue. I'll pass. This is half off. It does have a stain right there on the front though. We're gonna leave it. It's a good, good shirt, but it's stained up. Unfortunately, it's first time to serve. Uh, why would you be mad at a reseller when Goodwill has thousands? Yeah, we always have a couple of those people in chat. Always have a couple people. Literally, they, they can't um, they can't fathom that I literally just skipped all of these shirts. They're mad because I'm picking up like one out of every 50 shirts I go through. Is it mad that they're seeing me pick up stuff or is it mad that they're mad that they don't know how to do this? That's the real question that you need to ask yourself. It's a Carhartt, size 2XL, 650. A short sleeve. Um, I'll probably pick it up. 650. I could probably get like 20, 25 for that. We'll check it over for stains at the end. If it has any signs of stains, it's going right back on the shelf. By the way, appreciate all the subs. Uh, we did our sub giveaway yesterday. Um, everybody but two. There's two people that gave me their address. Two people haven't yet. As soon as they give me their address, their boxes will be shipped. So appreciate all you subs. Thank you for all the follows to everybody that's following right now. Our next sub giveaway is going to be at the end of this month. End of February. <clears throat> these people are struggling. Don't resell. How horrible. Okay, so again, I've already passed all of these shirts. You see all these shirts? All of them? I've already passed all of those. That's just one aisle. There's plenty to go around. When you when you actually understand how much there is and how much excess there is in America, you uh, won't really care. I have a video for you, by the way. Watch the Goodwill Bins video. You'll be surprised. Literally how many tons of clothing is thrown away every single day. Literally tons. Like, literally tons. Uh, we're going to pick up this Vineyard Vines. It's size medium. It's good Vineyard Vines. Show shirt price at 75 I didn't see it. 
it's probably like a really good brand. This this thrift store knows their high end brands, so they always price stuff up high. Um, but you just got to find the uh, undermarked items. <clears throat> Hey, by the way, all of you that are complaining about this, I have literally 20 mods in here. <laughs> You're not going to complain for too long. And I appreciate your mods for uh, taking care of the, uh, the haters. I have a video for you guys. The, the, the people that actually are hating on this, I have two videos. I have a Karen video for you. And then I also have the Goodwill Bins video for you. Go check out both of those videos. It will absolutely blow your mind how much is thrown away every single day. If you've never been to a Goodwill Bins, you have no clue, even remotely, what you're talking about. Pick up this toy, Richard. This is a $6 toy, Richard. I love this. Appreciate it. Yeah, we do this once a week, by the way, so definitely consider hitting that follow button. Um, actually, we do this twice a week now. Prana Men's Shirt. Uh, I've had a hard time selling these. I'm going to leave those be that one behind. Leave it for, you know, clearly I need to leave some stuff back before the, for the poor people that come thrifting in this store. So we're going to leave that for them because I'm a nice guy. Tommy Bahamas 2 plan. I'm going to pass on that one. <clears throat> By the way, if you miss any part of this live, it is up on my YouTube channel afterwards. Exactly. People also don't consider that. <laughs> the money I'm paying in this store actually goes to help veterans. But, I mean, I'm the bad guy, right? Another Carhartt 2XL. This one's a snap. 650. I'll probably keep that one, too. It's a snap button one. A little bit better than the other one I picked up. There's another Piranha. This one's too much. Eh, 650, though. It's an extra large. Extra large. It's vented. I might actually scoop that one. I'll, I'll make a decision at the end of the live. I'm meeting up with my uh, my boy today, JT Resells. JT Resells. He is um, uh, selling me a Fuji sweater today. He picked up at uh, Goodwill recently. Just another nice Tommy Bahama. It's full price, though. I'm going to pass on it. He'll be here next week. Did somebody tell me that's a good brand? Descendant of Thieves. I think somebody told me that last week, right? I think somebody said that's a good brand. I left it here. Yes, okay. I think we left it here last week. We couldn't find it. All right, let's go through the polos really quick. How does Tommy Bahama pants do? I don't normally pick up pants. Even the silk ones I typically pass on. Vineyard Vines. Ooh, that's a good one. There's a Foot Joy with the FJ on the collar. It does look like it has a little bit of a mark at the bottom, but I think I might be able to get that out. Those are really good Foot Joys. The FJ on the collar. Check it over at the end and see if I can get that out. Have you found Rock Revivals? I've never found Rock Revivals at this store. Surprisingly, no, I've never found them. This is one store I would expect to find them too. Polo Ralph Lauren, Big Pony logo. It is only four bucks, and it's got a Berlin across the chest and a number five on the back. That's going to be a pickup. Got my red, white, and blue thrift. Red, white, and blue. Appreciate all the mods helping out. Red, white, and blue. That's the store, man. Travis Matthew, what size is it? Looks like a small size. Yeah, it's a size small. We're gonna leave it for 10 bucks. That ain't, that ain't worth 10 bucks. Yeah, if you're new here, hit that follow button top left hand corner. I do these lives um, once, actually twice a week now. This is a Lululemon, it's 15 bucks, but it's too much for a size small. Oops, and I dropped it on the floor. I have good stuff in the area. That this, this store definitely has the best stuff in my area. We can come here basically once a week, every week, and find really, really good stuff. Here's a good one. It's a Peter Millar. This is actually a Peter Millar collection shirt. It's 2XL and it's only four bucks. 
It's a good one. It's a really, really good one. Those shirts retail really high. There's another, another Travis Matthew. This one we will pick up. It's a size medium. $6. Actually, this one's 12 This is not half off. We're going to leave that one behind. We'll come back next week and pick that one up. I forgot. Green tags are not half off. Remember that chat. Remember that. Banana Republics, yeah, I don't pick up Banana Republics. It's a pretty watered down brand and they just don't have really good resale value. So I know really massive work in just a few minutes you've been a few in. minutes dominating. <laughs> All right. I thought that guy was a follower. He came up to me and started talking to me. Figured he was a follower, he's gonna say something, but nope. everyone tap the screen yeah let's try to get to 100k likes we should be able to do it we got enough people in here tap that screen drop your questions i have some mods in my chat that can probably answer a few questions um i'll try to answer a couple as i'm thrifting but uh, i do do a live at night as well and come to that live tonight at 9 30 eastern and i can answer pretty much all those questions that you're asking have you seen big al i haven't seen big al in a while actually but he tells me he comes like random days throughout the week so Sometimes he's here on Wednesdays. He tells me sometimes he comes on Tuesdays. That's maybe why I haven't seen him. Here's a Travis Matthew, five bucks. That one's only gonna be, that one's gonna be a quick sale. Here's another Travis Matthew, five bucks. I mean, can't pass Travis Matthew for five bucks. It's such an easy seller. Where you at? I'm looking for brands with good resale value. I'm at a store called Red, White, and Blue. If you're new here, hit that follow button. I do also put these lives up on my YouTube channel. So I have tons of lives currently up on my youtube you can rewatch them at any time there's another travis matthew but it's got stains on it let's go check out my youtube channel you can watch me thrift for two hours straight speed up slow down skip around obviously you can't do it right now because i'm live but the replays you can do all that good stuff so johnny o good brand this one is five bucks it's not half off but i'll still pick it up it's worth it. It's probably like a $25 shirt. My wife is not on live. No, she doesn't actually have a thousand followers. So she can't go live. Appreciate your mom, the flipper for the groundhog. Thank you so much. Set a new goal really quick. Let's make it an easy goal. I always, I don't even look at the goal they give me normally. Let's throw some roses on here. Let's see what we have. What is this? Arrow. No, thank you. No, thank you for the arrow. That's a green tag. I'm not even going to look at it. They probably have a price too high. Let's see, $24.99 for Vineyard Vines. For some reason, the store thinks Vineyard Vines is gold. And uh, as most of you probably know, Vineyard Vines doesn't sell for as much as it used to. I still pick it up if it's cheap, but I don't pick it up for that price. Yeah, see, they do play good songs here. Every once in a while, they'll throw on a good song. All right, we're going to pick this one up. This is a this is a better than this is I wouldn't call this a great song actually. <laughs> this is like this is like the best thrift song you're gonna get. This is a good polo uh, Ralph Lauren 2 XLT, really good one. That's a nice um, camo one. That's gonna sell pretty quick. I can't believe I called this a good song. I read the chat and I'm like, wait, this is not a good song actually. <laughs> oh, that's embarrassing. It's like an old school song. They do have a hip hop station they put on every once in a while here. If you catch my YouTube, you probably hear it in the background. I'm surprised most of those videos don't get pulled down for monetization purposes. That's not vintage polo, no, that's a regular polo. This is newer label, that, that, that's a newer. I don't think I called that vintage, did I? Maybe I did, my bad. What brand is this? this? I think this one gets me every week. It feels and looks like Lululemon, but it doesn't have a logo on it. Yeah, it's definitely not Lululemon. Damn, it looks like Lulu. It's, it looks like Lulu. Sport Tech, yeah, it probably is. It feels really good. It feels like a Lulu. I think it gets me. That one's been here for like two weeks, and every time I come across it, I always double check it. Pass on that foot joy. Did 
Rex, Polo. Um, you said last week that was a little, yeah, I come across it every week and I do the same thing. It's because it has that good feel to it. Um, when you get good at this, you can pretty much feel um, the items and tell which one is good and which one is bad. And it normally stops you, like I stopped on that one. But unfortunately, that was not a Lululemon. I do find Lulu quite often here. What brand was that? Wilkie Rodriguez. It's a silk shirt. Wilkie Rodriguez. I've never heard of that. Wilk Rodriguez. Rodriguez. Miss Van Houston, I did. What's up, Chris? Chris, you're on the uh, you're on the side side channel. If you guys aren't following Chris over at Peak Eats, go give him a follow. He hasn't eaten any dogs though, I don't think. Chris, we're really disappointed. For a guy that loves dogs so much, you have not made a dog eating video. Calvin Klein was new with tag, then I'll pick up Calvin Klein. It's a Patagonia. I know most of you would probably pick this up. It is a Patagonia polo, but uh, I'm not gonna pick this up. It's probably like a 20 $25 seller. I don't really pick up Patagonia polos unless they're brand new with tag, like the one I found yesterday. So we'll leave that for somebody else, somebody who wants it. I'm just not interested in it. Ricky Rodriguez, 55 new, okay. New doesn't really matter. We're looking at used prices. And if it's 55 new, it's not going to sell used for that much. There's another cricket polo. I find these every time, at least one every week or every other week. Really good brand. These sell super fast. There's that brand logo right there, cricket. Sells super, super fast for good money. 35 bucks. So Peter Millar Summer Comfort, but it's got a big embroidery in the front, so we're gonna pass on that one. So Johnny O. This one's half off. It looks to be in good condition. Uh, we normally get about 25 for those, kind of like a Peter Millar brand. Really good following. Theory, I'm gonna pass on that. They have that priced way too high. <coughs> cricket. Yes, cricket. Free Fly. Hey, I love this brand. This brand's really good. Free Fly. Be on the lookout for it. These polos normally go for about 30, 35 bucks. So we'll throw that in the cart. John Barbados. Yeah, I normally would pick it up, but I think they had it priced at like 25 bucks. Um, this store does know a few of their few of their brands, so they do price some up. Um, you just got to be on the lookout for the ones they miss. But, yeah, that was a little too much for the John Vervitos. I think they've had like three of them now I've passed up, and they're all priced up here. Top five brands you look for. I don't have a top five brands, but I do have my eBay store linked in my bio. If you want to see the brands I sell consistently, go check out my eBay store. We actually did a packing live this morning. Here's a Lululemon. It's half off. It's 20 bucks. It's not worth picking up. Um, we did a packing live this morning. I packed up 16 orders this morning. Yesterday was a really good day. The day before was really slow. So I know a lot of people are complaining about having slow sales. Just keep listening. Trust me. It'll turn around. Don't stop listing. If you are like, hey, I'm frustrated. I'm not getting sales. I'm just going to sit on my butt and not do any work. You're going to lose out on money. 35 is too much to pay for this Burberry Brit. Just imagine if you go if you go to the gym and you work out for a week and then you go stand on the scale and the scale says you didn't lose the pounds that you thought you were going to lose, do you just stop going to the gym or do you go back to the gym and you work harder? I probably think you go back to the gym and work harder. Athletic fit. That would normally be a pickup, but it's got some stains on it. No problem. It's always going to turn around another Patagonia. I'm going to pass on this one too. Damn, they have a bunch of these though. Ooh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Now that changes. This changes things because if I put multiple in my store, I could get somebody to lot these up. Hmm. What do you guys think? Should I pick up these Patagonias? I don't only pick up Polos. Polos only sell for like 20 to 25. They're $5 because they're half off. So they're only five bucks. 
I guess I will. I'll pick them up. Screw it. I'll pick them up. Yes, okay. We'll go, we'll go grab the other one, too. The other one was behind us. There's another John Varvados. They want 15 bucks for it. I'll pass on that one. Here's a good look cost. It's full price, though. We'll wait till next week. We'll pick it up. Orbis. I forgot what color the other Patagonia was. There's another Foot Joy. Ooh. It's a good size, size 2XL, but it has some staining on it. Do anybody remember what the other red and brown, brown? Okay, it goes back here, wasn't it? Speed, speed thrift, speed thrift. Um, red and brown, it might have been back here actually. Speed thrift. Speed thrift. Speed thrift. Looking for a Pataguchi, where are you? You're around here somewhere. Good joy. By the way, this is normally how fast I go when I'm thrifting by myself. Damn, did I down here it wouldn't be down here right it's not brown i might just leave it i might just grab the two and leave the other one if i can't find it really quick it's green there it is there she is all right let's go over to the let's go let's see where the other dude is there's another guy that's thrifting this area and i want to see where he's at because that'll determine where i make my next move this is the the thrill of the hunt Dun, 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 dun. All right, he's right there. He hasn't been through the sweaters. Let's go through the sweaters, and then we'll come back. Dun, 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 dun. eBay only? No, I sell on eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, and Facebook Marketplace. Wait, look how jam-packed. The sweater section is it is insane it's under armor it's a nice under armor i wish under armor had good resale value i'd pick that up ashford yeah that's that's one of my favorites ashford h and m nautica just kidding you guys actually bought that no don't don't pick up ashford me and chris are joking Chris, we're waiting for a dog video. We need you to make a dog video. Look how jam-packed this sweater section is. It's like so packed. There's got to be some gems in here today. It's an LL Bean, but it's full price. We're not messing around with full price LL Beans. Come on. Big money, big money, big money. There's got to be some in here. What is that? Structure? No, we're not picking up structure. Um, when do you plan on sourcing for summer? I source summer all year round. I source winter all year round. I don't really stop sourcing for those two. We're going to pick up this Lacoste. This Lacoste pullover. It's a nice one. Make a little bit more room in here too. Here's a foot joy. Uh, foot Joy, this is just a, like a simple pullover Foot Joy. It's a nice one. Tommy Bahama. K-Way, Donald Trump. Somebody pin Donald Trump. Donald's in the house, everybody. You guys aren't following Donald Trump. <laughs> Donald, what's up? What's up, buddy? How are you doing today? It's my man. Donnie's in the house, everybody. I'm probably gonna lose like half my uh, half my viewers now. <laughs> I 
I don't pick up Tommy Bahama sweaters, no. They just don't have good resale value. They, they sell, but they don't sell for crazy money. Not, not as much as most people would think they would sell for. Man, the sweater section is so packed. Adios. It's all right. It's a joke. It's not the real Donald Trump. Calm down. It's not the real Donnie. North Face. I think this one has too much filling. We left it here last week, so we're going to leave it again. It's an Orvis, but that one's too plain of an Orvis, so we're going to leave that one behind. Sorry, I'm trying to show these labels, but I can't show the labels because it's too packed in here. This aisle is super packed. Super duper packed. Um, what store is this called? Red, white, and blue. Sorry about the camera. I think next um, rack we should we should be able to see the camera or see the uh, the view will be a little bit better. That's what I'm trying to say. Spit it out, K Way. What are you saying? What are you trying to say, man? Another Under Armour. You really got to check every item, though. If you guys are the type of thrifters that are not checking every single item, you're missing out on good money. Because if you're just skimming, you're not going to find all the hidden gems that are within the racks. It's a Polo Ralph Lauren, but it has a hole in it. It's from last week. It's been sitting here. What brand are you looking for? I'm looking for some George. I'm looking for some, you know, Columbia right here. We got some Columbia. That's what I'm looking for. I'm actually looking for Chris at peak. I heard he's here somewhere. He's hiding. He's like in the Alps. I think he's like, oh, Chris is just like hanging out. Is this cashmere? Chris is uh, sledding right now. It's a wool. Is this worth it? It's a Tory... Tory Birch? It's a wool Tory Birch. Do these sell for anything? Somebody tell me. Somebody, it looks like somebody hid that over here. Somebody hid this Athleta over here too. I'm going to take this Athleta. Somebody hid their, hid their little jackpot over here. Look at this. Another Athleta. Athleta sweater. I mean, yes, okay. It is a... Uh, it is 20 bucks though. 20 bucks. 20 bucks. What about this? Is this a good? Uh, this one has some brain. Actually, I think that's how it's supposed to look. Is this a good brain? Soroya? Soroya? Is that good? That's a hundred bucks. It could be half off. It's half off. Now we're going to leave it. Looks like somebody hid their little pocket over here and we found it. To that person, I apologize. It's in bad condition. No, I think it's. I think that's how it's supposed to be. I think it's supposed to be frayed. See, it's got fraying. It's got fraying on the front. I think that's the actual style of it. Woolen Bloom. Never seen that brand before. Pass on Tory. Okay, I think that's a pass on Tory too. It's 20 bucks. It goes for if it goes for 55, it's a pass. <clears throat> put the stash back. Tory's rough looking. Yeah, we'll, we'll we put this Tory back. Tory's back on the shelf. So North Face. They want 20 bucks for it. Uh, this is not half off. If this was half off, I'd scoop it. Orvis. They want 10 bucks for the Orvis. That's a pass. That was my stash. <laughs> Sorry. 
Uh, sorry. I apologize. It is now my stash. It's a Disney hoodie. It's uh, the 2020 Disney hoodie. Two North Face hoodies, but they're a little too raggedy. It's one thing with North Face hoodies is a lot of them that I find they're way too raggedy for me to even pick up. <clears throat> sorry, not sorry. Love finding stashes, yeah. Should have hit it a little bit better. You should have put the sweater stash in like the jean section and you should have scattered them around. You made it way too easy for me. The fact that all of them were sitting right next to each other is just like, yeah, easy peasy. Another North Face hoodie. It's only three bucks, but it is like cracking. I don't want to pick that up. Why not Spider? Spider was too much. I think they wanted 40 for the Spider, which is pretty crazy. Spider is pretty watered down too. I think it's sold at like Costco or one of those stores now. So older Spider pickup, newer Spider is normally a pass. You could also find it at TJ Maxx and Marshalls too. If you didn't know that already. This is a women's vineyard vines. It has a nice pattern to it. I think I might scoop this. It's only five bucks. We'll make a decision at the end. We might put that one back the perfect time of the year to sell it. That's the only reason why I would pick it up. Is that a fake Lacoste? It looks like it. It's faded. Is it faded? Oh, it does have some. Yeah, we're going to put it back. Look at that right there. It's like a, almost like a paint stain. Almost a paint stain. Appreciate everybody hanging out too. If you're not following, hit that follow button, top left hand corner, do these lives. Um, now multiple times a week. Every single week we come back to this store. Um, I also have a ton of content here on TikTok going over exactly what I do. So definitely consider hitting that follow button. And then if you miss any part of this live, it is up on my YouTube channel later on today. And if you guys could tap the screen, let's get it. We're gonna, we gotta get up to 100K likes by the end of this live. We got too many people in here to not have 100K already start tapping that screen fill up the bar a couple times for me there's another north face this one's raggedy too lots of north face here today but a lot of it is just too raggedy that one has an embroidery on the front i'm not even gonna look at it what size is the athleta the athleta i have one here size medium and i have another one here whoops that is a size. Hang on, the tag's not messing. The tag's messing with me right now. The other one's a size small. If you, if you see anything you're interested in, by the way, you can hit me up on Instagram, um, or you can message me directly here on TikTok. I just realized that um, I had the setting off, so you guys can message me here on TikTok as well now. Let me know what you're interested in purchasing. Here's a good one. This is an LL Bean. It's 100% wool. It's a size small but it's a nice L.L. Bean sweater. It's only five bucks. L.L. Bean wool sells all the time. So we'll scoop that. My wife should be over here in a minute. She's uh, she's thrifting. She only comes by a couple times. Shows, see this is another spider right here. It's full price, it's 20 bucks. Made in Norway, is it made in Norway? Yeah, it is made in Norway, which might make it even more valuable. A good little scoop good little scoop <clears throat> by the way i live in florida um i know there might be some people that are angry that i'm buying stuff to resell but to be honest none of this stuff would sell in florida <laughs> it literally will not sell i'm gonna pay up for this it's a patagonia it's 15 bucks but it's a full zip sweater and it's got a nice hit on the front and it's hooded which um adds to the value that's probably like a 35 plus dollar sweater should sell pretty quick. Patagucci. Armani, yeah, I don't pick up Armani. 
He's a Marvel. Armani's a good brand. A good wearable brand. Just doesn't have good resale value. I might actually pick up this. Oh, it's only, actually, it's 10 bucks. I'll wait till next week. I'll pick that one up. Lots of North Face hoodies here today. I wish they weren't hoodies, though. I wish they were like something else than hoodies. Because they're all cracked up. Made in USA. No brand, though. You sell on eBay? I sell on eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, Facebook Marketplace. My eBay store is linked in my bio if you want to see what I currently have listed and all that good stuff. See what I've sold, see what I listed. We packed up 16 orders this morning from eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. So if you missed that live, it is up on my Facebook right now. You can rewatch it at any time. But um, yeah, my eBay store is linked in the bio if you wanted to check it out. Alright, let's grab my cart. Let's spin this around. Let's go through this side of the sweater section. I am gonna skip around a little bit because the beginning has a bunch of t-shirts and I don't really mess around with t-shirts too much so we're going to kind of skip until we hit back to the sweaters but there are some like hidden gems within the t-shirts the sweaters they'll be mixed in I don't want to skip around too much but I don't look at a lot of these there's an Yves Saint Laurent this is way too much though they want they want $45 for this and I think it's a cotton oh it's lamb's wool it is lamb's wool if that was like way less of a price, I'd probably pick it up. But for 45 bucks, it's too much to pay for that Yves Saint Laurent. It'll get marked down eventually, and then I'll scoop it. 60K, yeah, tap that screen. Holy cow, we went from 30K to 60K within minutes. Keep tapping that screen. Let's try to get to, uh, to 100K. Of course, hit that follow button if you're new here. We're trying to get to 50K followers by the end of February. I think we could do it. Growth is, has been insane recently. I appreciate everybody who has followed and joined along for the joint the journey. Mountain Khakis. Isn't this a good brand? I remember somebody saying that they picked these, this up all the time. Maybe it was Wagon? I think it was Wagon. Who won the giveaways? Four people last night. Um, I don't know their names. I can't remember their names. They're all on a, a board. Good brand. It's only three bucks. Solid brand, okay, we'll pick it up. I'll look up comps afterwards. I think it was Wagon that picked it up, if I can remember correctly. Maybe it's Chris, maybe it's Chris, I don't know. It's one of them, one of them weirdos. One of them weirdos picked it up. Uh, if you find anything Nike, let me know. People hit me up on Poshmark. I have tons of, I pass on tons of Nike. Um, I don't really pick up too much Nike. By the way, if you guys are interested in anything, don't hit me up on Poshmark, please. <laughs> we cannot have conversations on Poshmark. That'll get me banned on Poshmark if I talk off-platform. Vineyard Vines. I do not pick up Vineyard Vines um, like that, no. They don't sell them. This store prices them at like 10 bucks. It's just not, there's not enough money in Vineyard Vines. I know it's a really solid brand. Like this Vineyard Vines right here, I will not pick up this Vineyard Vines. It is $7.50, but this Vineyard Vines would only sell for like 15 to 20. It's nothing special about this finger vines. So I'm not going to pick it up. Pick up the Lulu Row. Lulu Row. Nautica competition. That could have been good if it had like a big hit on it. Those vintage Nautica pieces can go for decent money. Quarter zip sells fast for that. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Here's a foot joy. This foot joy has stains on it. We left it here last week. I've listed quite a few of those. Ooh, this is a, this is an old school one. If it was only Christmas time, this would actually be worth picking up. It does have a couple little marks on it, but it's a Disney. It's 13 bucks. It's a little too much. But um, if it was around Christmas time, I might consider picking that up. No, this is not Sunshine Thrift. This is red, white, and blue. Yeah, it's a nice one. It's a little too much for me to, like, consider picking up and 
flipping. Another Disney catalog one. It's got little poo and piglet. Nothing on the back. Yeah, Disney's good. Disney, depending on the price, can be a, can be a pickup. It's obviously a really good following with Disney, so. But those are too, too much. That's what California will make good money with sweaters and hoodies. Nice, but unfortunately I live nowhere close to California. I live in Florida. Fun fact, most of my orders actually go to California. I don't know why. And fun fact, the, the people that lowball the most are from California. <laughs> I literally get lowballed from California like every day. <clears throat> get offers and it's so low. And I'm like, where's this person from? Let me guess, California? I look where they're from. And sure enough, California. Why is that, Californians? Can you, can you explain that in the chat? Why is that? Cali here? Yeah, I know your cost of living is high, but that doesn't mean you got to lowball me. MCM? No, it's not. A, it's a Marine Corps. It's not the MCM you're thinking about, because I looked at it, too. I was like, hmm, MCM. Cost of living in California is so expensive, I'm not surprised people lowball. Yeah, that's what I figured. I know it's cost of living, but you ain't got to lowball me, bro. I got to lowball me. I get it. I get it. I get it. Got to gotta save some money somewhere because your living costs are so high. We're all broke. I mean, probably true. I mean, when your houses are like, small houses are like a million dollars there, you guys got to move to Florida. You realize Florida is like the same exact weather except our houses are like half the price of yours. What is that? M. Singer. Made in USA. Is that a good brand? It's gotta be, right? It's made in USA. M. Singer. Somebody in chat will tell me. They'll be like, that's an amazing brand. Pick it up. Normally when it says made in USA, it's normally a pretty good brand. Peanuts and Snoopy? Sometimes. It isn't the same weather? What do you mean? It's hot and humid. Like, most of the year. Florida is a red state. Mm -hmm. We're not going to get into politics. That'll be for the nightly live. <laughs> we'll not get into politics here. We can do it tonight. If you guys want to come back at 930, all you people from California, we're not going to do that. We're not going to do that on this one. California isn't humid? Okay. I've never been to California. I just figured it was humid. It's so hot there. It's always sunny in California. Isn't that like the saying? It's always sunny in California? why Florida is the best. I agree. I agree. I agree. I've been in Florida my whole life. I have to agree. I can't, I cannot agree with that statement. $25 new. Okay. We'll put that back. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Figured made in USA. It kind of stuck out to me. Sometimes you just got to put stuff in your cart and Normally I would look that up right then and there, but obviously I'm on my phone. Wifey's not around. Too many crazies in Florida? That is true. There's a lot of crazy people in Florida. That is 100% facts. And it's, us Floridians, we don't think we're crazy, but we're actually crazy. I think I'm pretty normal, but again, that's what most, most Floridians would say that statement. I think I'm pretty normal. Then you go to California and everybody's like, you are not normal. Keep Texas, Texas, keep Florida, Florida, yes. Texas. I want to go to Texas. I hear they got a lot of thrifts in Texas. I actually looked up a Google Maps and I was highly surprised at how many thrift stores are actually in Texas. It's pretty crazy. If you guys want to look up look that up, just go on Google Maps right now, hover over Texas and type in thrift stores, and you will see an abundance pop up. Um, um, I started donating to local churches so vultures can't make money. Nice. Well, that's uh, that's your choice. It's your items, right? You can do that. I am a local vulture. And I will 
Uh, you know, local vault, uh, vultures actually go to those uh, local uh, church thrifts too. We're, we're vultures. We go everywhere. I like that. I've never been called a vulture before. I kind of that, that might actually stick. You call us vultures. Uh, where are the shorts at? Did I pass by the shorts? I did. Let's go through the shorts really quick. Eagle hawk vulture. Yeah, we're all vultures now. I'll take it. I didn't go through this section because there was a another thrifter going through here. I don't think I'm going to find anything in this jacket section. That's going to stick. I think that is going to stick. We're going to start calling ourselves vultures now. <clears throat> Alright, I've already been through that section. I haven't been through the middle section, though. I haven't been through this section. K-Way, the vulture. <laughs> Coming off the top rope. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. That guy just typed out that comment and he thought I was going to get really pissed about it. He was like, oh, I'm going to get him with this one. I'm going to call him a vulture. And then I completely made fun of it and now he feels like an idiot. Mr. Trisha once spent $32 and made over $1,600 on it. Let's go. That's what I like to hear, Trisha. That's what I like to hear. Supporting your local thr uh, church thrifts. That's amazing. You are a stand-up woman. Everybody go follow Trisha Smith, 86. She is obviously a stand-up person supporting those local church thrifts. Vulture. I like it. I like it. It's going to stick. I'm telling you, it's going to stick. These are a pair of AG shorts. The, they've been here for a week now. They'll hopefully get marked down next week. They're at 20 bucks. It's pretty crazy to price those at 20 the jeans worth it at 20 the shorts a little too much baby vulture here there you go you gotta start somewhere you gotta start as a baby vulture and then you vulture a lot i think that's what you call it vulching that's what i'm doing right now i'm vulching you just keep vulching and one day you'll become a big vulture I'm still, I consider myself a baby vulture too. We haven't got up to the big vulture status yet. Chris at peak, he's a big vulture. Drifter shifter, big vulture. I'm just a little baby vulture like you. We'll get there one day together. Vulture culture, I, I like this. Let's go, we're, we're <laughs> vulture culture. Oh, I like it. Scavenging, that's what I like vulching better. Scavenging does work, but I kind of like vulching it goes with the vulture. I know that's not a word, but I kind of like it. Like, people will know what you're saying when I'm like, I'm vulching. <laughs> I'm going to need a vulture culture sticker. That might actually be a new sub emote. We might make... Uh, I got my, my guy on sub emotes, by the way. All you subs out there, we're getting new sub emotes. But um, vulture culture. That might actually be a sub emote. We just came up with one here on live. Bird watching, yeah. Bird <laughs> this live is bird watching. <laughs> Vulture merch? That that is funny. That guy literally just came up with a whole merch idea. He was trying to troll and he literally is gonna, you know, I'm gonna make merch about this and I'm gonna make money off of his comments. <laughs> oh god, you gotta love people sometimes. You gotta love them. Vultures unite. Uh, people think I'm probably crazy. I'm sitting here walking around a thrift store smiling. All right, here's a pair of Peter Millar shorts. They do have some wear at the bottom, though, so we're going to pass on those. They're such light wear. Actually, that might not... Yeah, that's a little... You can see the di difference in color. It's a little bit worn out, so we're going to leave them. I'd normally pick those up, but I don't want to deal with somebody getting a return because they say it's too worn. Skipping around a little bit, looking for some goodies. Vulture culture. What are you? What 
brand are you? Yeah, I don't think it's anything. All right, let's go down to the other side. Nothing like red, white, and blue. Do hogwash before selling? Do hogwash before selling? Do you wash before selling? I think is what you meant to say. Um, only time I wash items is I have stains or bad smells. Otherwise, they get sold as is. Most of the items here at thrift stores are in really good condition. You don't really need to wash them anyway. There's a pair of North Face shorts. Five bucks. North Face shorts. There's a little hit right there. Price could close up. Those are like a um, casual short. I wouldn't say they're swim trunks. I would say they're more of a casual short. Um, I always wash my stuff. It's an option. You can wash your stuff 100% if you want to. There's no, obviously, if you want to, there's nothing wrong with it. But to be honest, most of the items here at Thrift Store were donated from people's closets. And I, like most of you probably in chat, probably put your clean laundry in your closet not your dirty laundry so due to that fact most of these items are pretty clean and most people that buy used items online anyway they normally wash them um, before they wear them unless it's a kooji sweater then you're allowed to wear that right away how do you store your stuff i store them out in bins in my garage um, everything is bagged and binned um, if you watch some of my older video you'll be able to uh, older videos you'll be able to see the bins behind me store everything out in the garage <clears throat> when I make a sale it takes me about 30 seconds to grab my my item because everything is organized organization is key key to any business Coogees cost more if they smell musky 100% just adds a little flavor to it adds a little flavor what are you what are you? But, uh, no. Thought that might have been something else, but it's not. Is that North Face? No, it's not North Face. It's Jerry. Jerry always tried to look like North Face. All right, let's skip through this one. I'm going to go through the long sleeve shirts. The reason I haven't gone through those yet is because there was another person already going through those, and I didn't want to, like, block up the whole aisle and take his spot, so... Obviously, we're getting a pretty good load today. I gotta stay here for another two hours because I wait, gotta wait for a guy, JT Resells. He's bringing me a Kooji sweater that I'm buying off of him. Let's see, do they have a new rack down there? Let's check and see if they have a new rack. Don't forget about those cards. Oh yeah, we'll go back and grab those too. Actually, she's working on that. I'm not going to mess with her. Um, long sleeve dress shirts, I think, is what we just said we're going to go through. All right, let's see if he missed anything. Let's see how good of a thrifter this guy was. Did you say you got at least double your money uh, on this stuff? Uh, in most cases, I turn $5 into $20. After all fee shipping and cost of goods, that's pretty much for the margins I'm looking for. <clears throat> seen Big Al lately? No, I haven't seen Big Al in a while. Big Al's been hiding out. Big Al, if you're watching this, where have you been? He does watch all my replays. said it already. So he's probably watching this on Facebook or on uh, YouTube right now. Like, hey, they just called me out. You ship USPS? Um, yes. In most cases, most of my items are first class, so they go via USPS. First class shipping. 100K likes. Thank you all so much for 100K. Keep tapping that screen. Still got quite a few 
we have a decent amount longer to be here. Sorry, I don't know what I'm saying. Andrew Charles, never seen that brand before. We'll be here for a decent amount longer, that's what I meant to say. Be here for a while. Be here for another hour, minimum. Oh, here's a here's one he missed. Bullock and Jones. This is a good brand. This is actually a flannel. This is at least 35 bucks. Minimum. BKE, we're gonna leave that one behind. Here's another Bullock and Jones he missed. Six bucks. Really good brand. Rag and bone, yeah, rag and bone. Unfortunately, it's a men's size small, and they want ten dollars for it. And it's been here for like two weeks. So I've actually picked up a few of those already. And they're still sitting for me, so I'm not going to pick up any more until the other ones sell. Oh, my nose is all runny now. I'm getting that thrift thrift store runny nose. You pass on a Bugatti. Bugatti is a decent brand. Here, they want $25 for their Bugattis. Even half off, it's not worth picking up. Like, for example, Burberry. I get it. Burberry is this is the vintage label made in usa they want half off so they want 37 dollars 50 for that it's too much money made well uh men's made well i don't normally pick up so i'm gonna pass i was sneezing yesterday thrifting and laughed um said all this dust yeah i had somebody on my live yesterday said go blow your nose bro i'm like even if i blow my nose i'm still gonna have a stuffy nose because it's literally it's a it's, it's a thrift store I mean, what do you expect What do you expect? And the bathrooms here, they actually lock up. Here's another good brand. I actually sold one of these this morning if you're on my morning live, a Moss and Hoffman. They only want $5 for it. Really good brand. Moss and Hoffman. Another Burberry, but they want 25 bucks for it. A little too much. Robert Graham, this 25 bucks for it. A little too much. Want some of the new Bullock and Jones? Yep, Bullock and Jones, really good brand. We sold one this morning. We sold a, um, no, we, we sorry, not Bullock and Jones. We sold a Solmer, Mossman, and Hoffman and Moss, that Hoffman and Moss this morning. Um, and we packed it up on live. Really good brand to be on the lookout for. One day my cart will be as full as mine. One day your cart will be as full as mine. I've got lots of questions. Okay, we got lots of answers. All right, good. Oh, those are bras. New with, well, one of these is new. What is that, Victoria's Secret? No. I thought it was, but it's not new. Okay. Sorry. We'll, we'll ignore that one. Ignore it. Spanx bra. Spanx bra? That's got to be Spanx. good, right? It's for half off. Please yeah. tell me the color is green. Yeah, green is the color. Half off. There Spanx are bra. so many Spanx over there, new with tags, but they're all $50. Oh. They're not half off. Victoria's Everybody's Secret push up bra. Hi. There she is. Hi. Half off Victoria's Secret. We sold we sold the Victoria's Secret bra last week. Yeah. This is Lulu. I can't find the thing, but it's there Ooh. for a couple bucks. Look at this. See, they do miss Lulu here. Over there's, here, look, I got it. There's the Lulu right there. Ah, the bottom of the. And there, it's only four bucks for a Lulu lemon. Looks like it's a size small. It's a good one. Does she shop lemons? Yeah, she goes to the women's while I hit the men's. Uh, Athleta, three bucks. Workout top. Athleta, three bucks. It's an older label, but Whoa. it's only three dollars and or four dollars. Four dollars. Still worth picking up. I think we can get at least twenty bucks for that pretty easily. I think these, these are, are men's. Men. Yeah, those are men's. A1. These are seven for all mankind men's. They're only three bucks or four bucks. Sorry, four bucks. It's a good find. So this is assets by Spanx, and I wanted to ask the chat: it's a couple bucks. Is that like count as good? Is that good? It's only. It's only it's four by bucks. Spanx. I didn't know. Somebody said I'll buy the Lulu. Hit me up on Instagram if you're interested in the Lulu. Somebody said yes for the assets. These? Yes. Okay. So it's four bucks. Sold so I figured Target. I'd grab it. Target brand. So is it worth picking up? Even though it's a Target brand, it's only four bucks. They're still good. Okay. People okay. are saying they're still good. Cool. So we'll give it a shot. It's only four bucks. Can't go wrong. So this is Eileen Fisher like corduroy. Yay, nay. Eileen Fisher, Half and off. these are corduroy pants. Nice, Whoa. like, velvety corduroy. Yeah. Um, 
few people are saying no, no, nope, okay. faded, killing. Okay, so, put that one back. Rag and bone. Rag and bone, twenty-eight. Oh my gosh, look at this. Rag two and bucks. bone for two dollars and fifty cents. Cannot beat that. That's a pickup. I can tell you that. I don't even have to ask Chad on that one. So these are just athleta, like, uh, like hiking pants. Athleta, or, or like, like hiking, working, hiking workout, workout. Out, outdoor. That's a good one. Pants. So our friend, Aging with Style, found this, and she gave it to me. She's over there shopping with me. Hey. These are LLB lined, new with tag women's, 10 bucks. I, Yay, I, looked up, I looked up comps on those the other day. They actually have these at Kohl's. They only go for, like, 25 to 35 so we're like going to leave those trailer. behind. Yeah. If these were men's, I'd pass pick them up, but the women's are not as good as the men's, so this one will be a pass. They look like men's. Those aren't men's? No, these are women's. They're size 12, so they're women's. We're going to pass those up. I had questions. Escada, like jeggings, five bucks. Show me the label again. Escada, I feel like I've seen it before. Escada, five dollars. Somebody will let, put those off the side, I'll let you know. Okay. Somebody said yes, yes, everybody's saying yes. I've heard the brand before, I've seen it, I just didn't know the pants were on. Okay. Spanx for seven. Okay, Spanx, good. I mean, we don't have yeah. to look those up. Those, well, are, yeah. <laughs> those are obvious. Those were seven, those are nice. but the other ones that I found last week are the new Wit Tag $50 ones that mm. we found last week. Okay, is a major I had a design. question. Yeah. Soft surroundings, yay or nay? I Thank hear, you. I see things about these. These are really nice pants. Soft surroundings, these are going to be six bucks. Are they worth, like, I see them all the time. I see other people pick them up. I just don't hey, know. Hey, somebody get this Charlie idiot out of here. Oh, never mind. Somebody already did. Bye, Charlie. See you later. Hi, Charlie. Yay, okay, no. Um, somebody Stop says only bigger sizes for that. This isn't an oh, extra small size. Um, extra small. Okay, we'll pass on that. Extra small is a little bit harder size to sell to. Another one I had questions for because I've never recognized the brand before. Piazza Sempione. Made in Italy. Anybody? How much is it? Seven. Seven fifty. I've never seen it before. When I tried to look it up, I saw so many different things. So. Designer, everybody saying yes with exclamation points. Yeah. So. Did I find something on Pinterest? I guess that's a yes. Alrighty. I saw yes. a lot of good comps, but I just didn't know. Okay. We're good. We're good. This one I know is no, probably. But it's new at tag. It's an older label. It's a size I figured large. it's no. But is it? What is it made out of? It's uh, Eileen Fisher. Brand new at tags. But it's 20. Like next week, check it up if it's cheaper. Tencel. Tencel. Tencel? It's a Tencel. Tencel pair of Eileen Fisher. They do want 20 bucks for them. Is this, um, is it, yeah. They're a size large, too. Some people are saying, no, Tencel's good. Not for that much. Tencel's good. Next week, maybe. Eileen ama is amazing. New with tag. What's the retail price on this? Oh, it doesn't have the retail price on it. Um, looks like that. Uh, that might be a stain. Maybe not. Or is that price? Somebody said no. Yeah. Um, they said it's a little too pricey. We'll pass on that. Yeah. They might actually mark that down next week. It's been here for a while. I'm hoping they mark all those spanks down again. Yeah. Just piranha pants. Piranha pants, yeah, yeah, we're gonna pick those up. Those These are, are easy. like a zip cargo. Yeah, pick that one up. Oh, these are your Disney's, by the way. Okay. I did find Beta brand? Beta brand. brand. For two bucks. Obviously, we're picking up Beta brand for two bucks, two fifty. That's easy. Oh, another Eileen Fisher, but it was five bucks. Two bucks. Yeah, we'll pick that up. That's the black label. I think Kat said the black label do better anyway. And it's only. And it's and it's a big size. It's a so size twelve. Nice. And then you guys, you can show my Lulus too. Oh. We're picking these up. These, these are, were, these were here last these week. These are the right ones, right? Yeah. Okay. These were here last week. They are, we are paying up for these, but I'm doing, uh, these are personal for me. They're a pair of Lululemon men's shorts. I really like the Lululemon shorts. So we're, that's a personal. That's not, not for resale, at least yet anyway. So you did good. Look at all that. Yeah, I'm getting better. Look at that. How many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. You already have more here than you did all of last week. Yeah, and you still, you, it's I, obviously I still going to go, still gonna go jackets, back. I jackets, sweaters, dresses I haven't gone through. Have you seen Eileen's 50 plus new with tags? 
Um, it's 20. It's 20. We're, we're still going to pass. It's it's a little too much. They'll probably mark it back down. If it's here next week. You want to move those to the end of your cart, and then I'll start putting this back in. I thought this brawl was a Victoria's Secret. Like. You did good. That was really good. Found lots of good stuff. Lots of goodies. So, the, people were excited about that one brand. Which brand was it? The uh, Yeah, one? something like that. The one I probably just threw on the ground. The Escada. No, that's Escada. Escada. Somebody was super, super static about us. Escape. 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 Fish are friends, not food. The Lulu. Somebody's interested in Lulu. I believe it's a size small. Nice. If you're interested in this, hit me up on Instagram. Um, I'll set up a set you up a good deal on this one. I gotta look up comps, but I can give you a better deal than I will list on eBay for. I need to go find the bra because I got the wrong one. Four but there's a new tag bra. Go All right, she's going back. She's going back thrifting. I'm gonna go find some sweaters. I didn't even do the shirts yet. Yeah, I got plenty of time. I still got to go through all these shirts. We got to stay here till 12 anyway. I got to wait for um, JT resells to, to get here. It's only 10.20. Uh, oh. So I still got some decent amount of time. Okay, then I'll probably have time after. Yeah. Okay. All right. Get Thanks, back Chad. to it. Get back to it, my little workhorse. Thanks, Chad. <laughs> Listen, you tool. Listen, you tool. Don't call her a workhorse. How dare you, you tool. Uh, sell Prada on Depop, Y2K. Where are you shopping at? It's called Red, White, and Blue Thrift. Appreciate everybody hopping into. If you're not following, hit that follow button top left-hand corner. We're up to 100K likes, too. Keep tapping that screen. If you did miss the beginning of this live, it is posted to my YouTube channel right afterwards. Um, probably later today, around 3 o'clock, I'll have this posted to my YouTube channel, so definitely go check it out. Wifey's a vulture. I, I forgot to tell her about that. She is a vulture. We're all vultures. And my little baby vulture. My little baby vulture. She's growing up so big. She's growing up so fast. It feels like just three weeks ago she only had three items in her cart. My little vulture. Uh, not a Bowden. Um, did I pass a Bowden? Men's Bowden doesn't sell as well as women's. I found that out. Uh, I picked up one a few weeks ago and it doesn't didn't really move. Look at that. 60 bucks for a brand new Attack size small vineyard vines. Ouch. Neiman Marcus. We don't pick up Neiman Marcus. Unless it's a cashmere Neiman Marcus. Yeah, extra small. We wouldn't pick that up. <coughs> How much do I want for this time Bahama? 15 bucks. Ouch. Hey, Donald was here earlier. Shout out Donald. He was in the chat. It's a Burberry London. These Burberry Londons don't go for big money unless they have the Nova check and they have the logo. This actually looks kind of sussy. This logo looks a little sussy. So we're gonna leave that behind. Christian Dior. Christian Dior, pick up the Christian Dior. Nope, not gonna happen. We will pick up this North Face though for $6.50. Bread and butter little pickup. Yeah, this, this thrift store does price up a few brands, but they do miss stuff as well. So um, so we do, we do pick up some things. Okay. Some of you, one of you designer people in the chat will let me know if this is worth picking up. Um, Aridi Visconti, made in Italy. Is that a good one? I know a lot of these like weird named ones can go for like really, really big money. This is only $4. Somebody can look that up for me. We'll come back to it. I'll remember it's a blue plaid. Turtleson, we're going to pass on that. Leadberry, we're going to pass on that. Anything made in Italy? Not exactly. Not everything made in Italy is worth picking up. <clears throat> Paul and Shark, another one. Another Paul and Shark. It's a good brand. Throw that in the cart. Where are you? I'm in a store called Red, White, and Blue. Cotton two ply. Um, sh -sh -sh -sh. Where are you? Red, white, and blue. The store I'm, I'm currently at is called Red, White, and Blue. What city? Um, I am in, um, I'm like right on the edge of Tampa, Tampa Bay. Hugo Boss. Hugo Boss doesn't have good resale value. Uh, this is a Duluth. We'll be picking this Duluth up. It's only four bucks. Nice Duluth flannel. Perfect time of the year to pick one of those up. 
This is a Vineyard Vines. It is a size medium. Oh, no, 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 no. $7.50. I'll pick up this Vineyard Vines. I think I can get at least 25 for that one. It's a Brooks Brothers flannel. If it was a bigger size, I'd pick it up. It's a size medium. I'll pass. Well, I know Michael Kors doesn't have good resale value. Good brand. Good wearable brand. If you need Michael Kors, you can come to any thrift store and you'll probably find at least like five, six pieces of Michael Kors in your size most likely. Same uh, for like brands like Tommy Hilfiger, but they don't have good resale value. So for me, I'm not going to pick them up because that's what I'm looking for, but still a really good wearable brand like Pink, really good wearable brand for a man. Boss Hugo Boss, Abercrombie, Nautica, really good brands just don't have good resale value. So um, I'm going to pass them. Leadberry, they priced these up like way too high though. 25 bucks for that is pretty crazy pretty 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 crazy Fairlane I thought that said Everlane Viella there's a decent shirt what are you made out of though that is the question we are going to ask ourselves what are you made out of sorry I'm looking for the interior tag on this one and it doesn't look like it's on that side so it's probably up here oh it's a cotton and a wool Viella and it's only four bucks Get the Emilio Visconti. Where, what color was it? Emilio Visconti. What color was it, Risner? I didn't see it. Was it the one that I looked up before? Emilio Visconti. Plaid. Was that the one I looked up? Or told you guys to look up? Or was it? Shit, now I forgot where it was. it right here no it's the Burberry where is it it's over here it's a plaid uh, I should have marked it damn I should have marked it I don't want to have to go through all these again um, comp 79 to 100 okay all right let's go through these really quick speed thrift speed thrift Where in the world was it? Do, 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 do. Was it right there? This one. It's Ernetti Visconti. Ernetti Visconti. Ernetti Visconti. That's the one you're talking about, right? Okay. We got it. We got it, chat. Victorious. We win. I'm taking you all out to dinner tonight. Just kidding. I don't have that much money. I'm taking the wifey out to lunch. <laughs> she did a really good job. I think we'll go to Red Robin. Shout out to uh, Nashville Flippers podcast. They were talking about this. Hey, we just sold one of these this morning. Boom. And it's only $2.50. We sold one this morning for $31.49. Sold pretty quick. L.L. Bean Signature. Nice flannel. Am I Goodwill? No, I'm not at Goodwill. Field and Stream. That's a nice, that's a nice flannel. I wish it was a better brand. It's a really, really nice, heavy flannel. Nice corduroy collar. It's a good size, a size large, tall. It's only four bucks, but it's a bad brand. It's a bad brand. Something you guys could buy and resell, but I don't like, I don't want to sit on that for too long. I don't want to sit on it for too long. Depending into, if you're not following, hit that follow button. We got 1.1K people in here. Pretty much had a thousand people in here the whole live. So tap that screen, follow if you're not following. We do these lives multiple times a week now. Um, so if you're following, you get a notification as soon as I go live. I scored a Duluth uh, presentation jack for $8. Let's go. That's awesome. Awesome. And by the way, if I'm missing some of your comments, I know I probably am. Obviously, I'm thrifting, and it's kind of hard to stare at the phone and thrift at the same time. But if you come back to my live tonight at 9.30, that's when I answer all the questions. We'll go over a haul, all that good stuff. We'll go over everything we picked up. So, And if you miss any part of this live, it'll be up on my YouTube channel later today. Here's another one for all you uh, Italy dress shirt people. Is this a good one? Daniel Dolce, Italy. 
Daniel Dulce. Let's mark it. We know it's... Okay, we'll easily be able to tell this one. We'll easily be able to tell this one. No? Okay. People are saying no already, so it's probably a no. Some of those made in Italy ones can be worth like crazy good money. Here's a Bobby Jones. I don't normally pick a Bobby Jones, but this is 100% linen and it's made in Turkey. Dulce hay. It's got to be linen. Don't normally pick up Bobby Jones, but uh, let me flip this tag over. I can't show it. It says 100% linen. It's just not showing it for me. But uh, Bobby Jones, I might actually pick this up. It's a nice paisley. $7.50. Here's a Vineyard Vines. That'll be $7.50, but it's a small size, I bet. Yeah, it's a size small. I'm going to pass on that one. This one's an extra small. I'm going to pass on that one. Too hard to sell those smaller sizes. Yes, the Bobby Jones. Yeah, I'm definitely picking it up. Linen, it's got a good pattern. It's, I think it's the higher end label too. If you look at the label on that one, it looks like it's one of their higher end labels. So we'll pick that one up. We're actually going through this dress shirt section late. And there's already been another thrifter that came through here and he missed all of this stuff. So clearly you can come through here and still find good stuff. Look at this. L.L. Bean for three bucks. It's a nice flannel L.L. Bean. We'll scoop that up. Can't pass on L.L. Bean for three bucks. You'd be, you'd be weird to pass on L.L. Bean for three bucks. We're going to pass on that Vineyard Vines though. No, on the Dulce, yeah, we, we passed on. Appreciate it. That's PJ's? Oh yeah, it might be actually PJ's. You're right. Those are PJs. Do L.L. Bean PJs sell? Somebody tell me, do they sell? Pajama shirts sell? I don't know if they do. I, I just looked at that. I was like, yeah, that is a pajama shirt. L.L. Bean every time pick up. Yeah, I pass on. Thrifter Sifter, what's up? I pass on Brooks Brothers and Ralph Lauren. Not all Brooks Brothers and Ralph Lauren are made equal. Helping flannels, nightgowns, or fire. Okay, then we'll pick it up. It's only it's only three bucks, so it's worth worth the gamble. T fifty, you got to come out to Florida so we can like actually thrift, because this is this is actual thrifting right here. You got to come out to Florida, we'll do a little thrift adventure. <clears throat> yeah, I normally don't pick them up unless they're uh, unless they got something special. I did pick up quite a few um, Ralph Lauren's today, but. They had to be something special. I will pick up this Patagucci though. <clears throat> Patagucci. Yeah. It's only seven fifty. There's a guy that already went through this aisle. He passed all these up, so that's pretty pretty cray cray. <clears throat> I don't know why he would pass that up. Anything L.L. Bean's mom? Yeah. I probably shouldn't have doubted myself on that one. I should have just kept it in the cart. You should visit us here in California. Oh, I should. I really should. Do I have to wear a mask, though? <laughs> Do I have to? Is that, like, mandatory? Birds are real. Look at all these, uh... All those, um, military uniforms. It's a whale shirt. It's too much. No mask? Okay, we're good. We're, we're back to normal in California? Okay, I'll, I'll come visit. I'll come visit. I want to visit uh, California. I want to visit Texas. I want to visit Virginia. That's another state I want to. That guy made the most annoying thing go off. Yeah, it's a, it's a toy. It's, it's that toy right there. Yeah, I don't pick up uh, LL Beans unless they're like flannel, like heavy flannels. <clears throat> yeah, it's the toy. <coughs> <clears throat> see like this is an L.L. Bean I'm not going to pick up it's just a uh, regular shirt even though it's a oh I thought that was a large tall never mind yeah I don't pick up those L.L. Beans I look for L.L. Beans that are more special there's another John Barbados too much money we have excellent thrifting you can make a ton back yeah definitely if I go thrifting I want to do like a thrifting trip and I want to go like if I'm going to do that trip I'm going to go from Florida I'm going to go through Louisiana through Texas, through California, and then probably up to like a, 
probably, I don't know, maybe like travel to Colorado and then fly back. And then what I'll do is I'll literally ship all the stuff I find. I'll ship it back to my house and then we'll, uh, we'll list it when we get back. Do you have a van? No, I don't have a van. I've actually thought about getting one of those, you know, creepy, uh, creepy vans. You know, I don't want to say that other word on TikTok, but you know, those creepy, creepy vans. I've thought about getting one of those, making a K-Way van. Uh, but I'm, uh, I'm not going to do that. Not yet. We're actually going to trade in both of our cars here in the next like month or so. We're going to get an electric vehicle because we don't, we only use one car right now. So there's no use of us having two. So we'll just save that money, get a brand new um, electric vehicle, and then we'll save up for a, uh, another car. I hate having car payments. So I'm trying to trade in both cars and get another car and have little to no car payment. <clears throat> Rag and Bone does sell, but they want ten dollars for a size small and it's not worth picking up in size small where are you located i'm in florida i'm in florida so i'll let you guys know when we're doing that trip maybe i'll stop by and visit some people along the way we'll go thrifting together we'll make videos we're starting to make uh, full-length youtube videos actually starting next week we're going to be putting out our first full-length youtube video in a while it's been a while since we did one so That'll be uh, next week, and hopefully we do that trip and we film along the way and take you guys with us on that journey. No Land's End, no way. Land's End? Is that a serious question? Are you pulling my leg? Are you pulling my leg? Uh, I'm going to pass on it. It's not heavy enough. Get larger cargo size hybrid. We could do that, but I need one that you know can transport my kids around easily so we're gonna we're actually looking at the uh one of the hyundai electric vehicles uh, i want to get a tesla but teslas are a little too pricey again i'll have a car payment and we don't want that brooks brothers valentino valentino they price it way too high in the store brooks brothers i don't pick up brooks brothers unless there's something special about them um, for example this brooks, brooks brothers shirt it's only four dollars but brooks brothers in this style is super hard to move even for like 25 bucks It'll take way too long to sell, same as this one. But the solid white ones, they sell very, very fast. So make sure you are picking up the right stuff. Never seen a thrift store with so many brands. Yeah, this is a really good one. We come here every single week. They restock constantly at the store. It's a really, really good one. just bought a Hyundai Elantra hybrid and love it. I don't want a hybrid though. I want a hundred percent electric. I want to save on all that gas. My dad has a uh, Tesla and he loves it. He, he really wants me to get a Tesla, but I told him dad, bro, I don't have the money. Gianni Versace. Versace, Versace, Medusa head on me like I'm Luminati. This is, has a little bit of marks right there. It's hundred percent cotton. Gianni Versace made in Italy, but they want 40 bucks for it. It's a little too much, a little too much. A little too much. Really good brand though. If that was uh, not as pricey, I'd definitely pick it up. By the way, we came through this section, the Harley Davidson shirt was gone, unfortunately. I do have this hard rock shirt here now. Somebody scooped up that 3XLT hard um, Harley Davidson. Love Vintage Versace and Johnny was still alive. That's good, uh, good brand. Good brand to pick up, but unfortunately it's a little too much. A little too pricey. <clears throat> Pass on Bonobos? Yes, I do. Is it easy to get LLC? I'm not sure. I don't actually have one yet. I will be getting one um, really soon, though. So I'll let you know the process as soon as I get one. But at this point in time, I do not have one. Sorry, I'm trying to show the labels, but it's pretty hard to show these labels. We're actually going to stop here for a minute. They just brought out a new rack, so let's go check out the new rack. <clears throat> Tommy Hilfiger piece, Armani Exchange. 
see on that one. This is the one that's been sitting here all day. Spider. nothing always check the new racks you never know what you're gonna find on a new rack what are you looking for i'm looking for brands with good resale value if you want to know the brands i pick on a consistent basis my ebay store is linked in my bio by the way if you're new here make sure you hit that follow button in the top left hand corner is this a good brand bespoke risner bespoke it's made in canada bespoke todd snyder i didn't pass this todd snyder did i Can you negotiate with the store? No, okay, Bespoke's not a good brand. I sound like a dummy right there. Um, you said you love my voice. I love you for loving my voice. Emilio Exigna. I never pick up this brand anymore. This actually feels really nice though. Oh, it's a cotton. It's a cotton. Voice is soothing. I've been told that. I got a, I got a face for radio. <clears throat> you guys want to? You guys want me to sing you, uh, read you bedtime stories before you go to bed tonight? We do like a K-way bedtime, uh, K-way bedtime stories thing live. And I'll sit down. I'll have like a bunch of teddy bears around me, and we'll we'll read you uh, bedtime stories. Does that sound good? Do a little bit of Dr. Seuss. You resell on eBay? Yes, I do resell on eBay. It's on eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, Facebook Marketplace. This is a brand new with tag Brooks Brothers shirt, but it's a size 12, which I believe that's a women's size, right? I don't know if that's worth picking up. Brooks Brothers women's, it's only five bucks. Hmm. Hmm. Once upon a time, there was a vulture. <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a vulture named K-Way. He went to all the thrift stores around the land, vulching. The Kooji Crooner. <laughs> now there were many people on the TikTok lives that did not like K-Way, but he found himself a nice community. You passed Lucky Brand? Yeah, I know I passed Lucky Brand. I don't pick up Lucky Brand shirts. Unless there's something super special about them. <clears throat> I, got, I think I got a future in this, people. I think we're going to start doing some TikTok live book reading sessions. You know, my wife's name is Kay the Book Nerd, but I might have to actually take that take that crown. Uh, there's some staining on the back of the shirt. We're going to pass on it. White is good for Florida. Yes. I'm look, Right now I'm looking for solid white, like high-end dress shirts. Sorry, I had to put that back on the rack. The Burberry. The Burberry is now marked to four dollars. Should I pick up this Burberry for four dollars? It's stained to crap though. I don't know if I can get that out. Oh, definitely can't get that out. Yeah, we're leaving that one. That has been here for such a long time. There's a Brooks Brothers. I think these had stains on them though, if I can remember correctly. Maybe this one didn't have a stain on it. Maybe they just put this one out. All right, we might we might pick this one up. It's only gonna be three bucks. Um, are you at Stars and Stripes? Say no, I'm at Red, White, and Blue. But I think the other store is called Stars and Stripes, right? Sing it. Yeah, I like Beebs. Beebs is all right. Nothing left on this rep, rack. K-Way karaoke. Oh, then we're going to do some karaoke. Hey, there's Big Al. Big Al's in the house. Big Al's in the house. We're going to not go that way, though. We're going to go the other way. What's up, Big Al, if you're watching the replay? That's good. That's good, my guy.
Big Al's a little late though. He got, he got here too late. K-Way's already been through these aisles. People get mad at you in store shopping? No, why would they get mad at me? Big Al! We'll probably say hi to him in a little bit. I wanna get through these uh, sections really quick. He's normally here earlier. I don't know why he's here this late. Your shirts are so nice. The shirts here, yeah, they are nice. Lots of good, lots of good brands in this store. If you're not following, hit that follow button. Tap that screen. We're up to 125k likes. 128k likes. Sorry. Keep tapping that screen though. Let's try to get to 150 really quick. I'll take Ralph Lauren pants. Um, you mean you'll buy them off me? I don't do. The only time I do like sales to viewers is stuff that I'm already picking up because I've had so many instances where people will say like, hey, I'm interested in buying that from you and then they'll ghost me afterwards. So I don't pick up stuff um, unless I'm actually gonna sell it. I hope you understand. I just don't wanna get stuck with a bunch of items that aren't gonna sell. Where do you sell all your items? I sell on eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, Facebook Marketplace. Those four websites. Um, I'm probably gonna open up a Grail then a Depop as well. Pretty soon. But for right now, I just sell on those websites. By the way, if you guys aren't thrifting in the pants section, you're missing out because there's really good pants to be found. Like these 5.11 Tacticals for only four bucks. These are just a normal pair of 5.11 Tacticals. We'll pick those up. They'll go for like 25. How fast do they sell? I have a 50% sell through rate or 50% of my items sell every 90 days in my eBay store. Sorry, I had to figure out what I was gonna say there. I'm actually trying to increase that salty rate too. <clears throat> Appreciate all the follows that are coming in. Normally I shout you guys out, but right now we're literally getting tons of follows. Like I can't keep up. There's no way, but I appreciate you guys. I do do a live at night, every single night at 9.30, except for Saturday, p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you guys are interested, come back to my live tonight. What we're gonna do is we're actually gonna go over this entire haul. We're gonna hang out. I'll answer questions in chat do all that fun stuff, but definitely come to those lives. I also do listing lives at night too, where I show you guys how I do my listings, um, how I take my photos, all that good stuff. So make sure you come to those lives at night, every single night here on TikTok. I also do a shipping live every single morning. I show you guys what sold the previous day, tons of content. You can literally learn the ins and outs of this business strictly from this channel. So definitely come back. 9.30 Eastern Standard Time at night, 9.30. I gotta do it after the kiddos go to bed and they're nice and quiet. Um, I used to sell, but fees are so high. 13% uh, of your total sale on eBay is not high fees. What I want you to understand is if you tried to open your own store, consider your cost of employees, your cost of overhead, your cost of insurance, and your cost of advertising. Put all that in, and I guarantee you're paying a lot more than that. We, we mentioned this earlier. We finally found our first pair of Rock Revivals. They want $17.50 for them, and we are, we are picking these up for $17.50. Let's go, let's go, finally, finally, let's go. I, I've been waiting to find that. You know how long I've been thrifting here, trying to find a pair of rock revivals? Next brand I want to find in here is Arc'teryx. I've not found Arc'teryx in this store yet. Let's go. Now let's see if we have another pair somewhere in here. Do people still wear those? Are these? This is one of my best selling brands. I love finding rock revival. This is a size 32. It's a good style. It's got a good back hit to it. These are easily 50 plus dollar jeans. I would say probably closer to 60, 70 bucks on those. If they're a rare style, which I haven't looked at yet, these are not a buckle exclusive, so they're not probably very rare. But if they were a buckle exclusive, they could be $100 jeans. I have so many rocks you need to sell. You definitely need to sell them. Women's rocks sell good they don't sell as good as the men's unfortunately but they're still a good pickup and they sell really well so i sold a pair of rock revivals actually we packed them up this morning on live for 42 dollars. i think i sold them on i want to say ebay for 42 bucks um by the way if you guys see anything you're interested in on this live you can always message me on instagram or you can actually still uh, you can actually message me here on uh tiktok as well if you're interested in anything you see we can set up a deal i do take paypal and venmo and I normally get a, give you a better deal if you're a viewer. 
uh, because I'm missing out on those eBay fees everybody complains about. So I can give you guys a better deal. I can forward that extra savings on to you all. So definitely hit me up if you see anything you are interested in. I think we found a Lululemon that's probably sold already today. Um, those rocks, I'm pretty sure somebody's gonna hit me up about those. What sites do you sell on? Um, use clothes on? I sell on eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, Facebook Marketplace. If you're new here, hit that follow button. Go through some of my content. I have tons of content here on TikTok going over exactly what I do. Um, buy stuff cheap, resell online for a profit. But I have videos about sales. I have videos about thrifting, all that good stuff. So definitely go through, watch some of my videos, like them, um, comment on them. If you have a question, I'll answer your questions. Um, but yeah, tons of stuff for you guys to view. Where are the best places to sell? Um, most of my sales this month, um, eBay, number one. Poshmark was number two. I think Mercari was number three. And then um, Facebook was number four. And then I had some viewer sales as well thrown in there. I'm gonna pick these up. These are Brooks Brothers. They're eight bucks, but they're a good color, good style, because they're corduroy Brooks Brothers. I really like picking up corduroy. They sell pretty quick, and that's a good brand to pick up in corduroy pants, so we'll pick those ones up. Let's say I'm in, I'm in Florida. <clears throat> um, Rock and Rivals and Miss Me aren't worth much here in Oklahoma. Well, that's the cool thing about selling online is I'm not selling just to Oklahoma. I'm selling not only here in the United States, but I'm also selling overseas as well. So as a brand might not be good here in the US, it might be really hot in you know Europe and I'll sell it to the people in Europe. So cool thing about eBay, they make it really easy to ship stuff overseas as well through the uh, global shipping program. So shipping overseas is not a pain anymore. It used to be hard to do, but now it's not. It's nice and easy skipping around a little bit because we're getting to the last bit of this aisle normally the end of the aisle is where all the good stuff is the middle of the aisle is all the uh, brands that have been sitting here for a while unless you find a pair of men's ag graduate jeans i'm actually going to leave these behind because they're full price i don't want to pay 15 dollars for those we'll come back next week they'll, they'll still be here is that world thrift no it's called red white and blue but i think world thrift is owned by the same company if i if i'm correct i don't know if that's a correct statement but i think they are they also they have another store called the thrift store um, which is owned by the same company hmm. Hmm. anybody heard of that brand 55 dsl 55 dsl it looks like ag stands for adriano goldschmidt Adriano Gold Schmied 55 DSL. Is that a good one? I've never heard of that brand. What about this? Meyer, made in China. It's diesel. Live replays? Yeah, the live replays are up on my YouTube channel. Hey, how's it doing? Okay. We're live right now. I know. <clears throat> I saw Kayla on the other side of the store. Yeah, you gave her those uh, LL beans? I did. Yeah, I, uh, I you recently. No, I, I recently looked them up because they're actually at Kohl's right now. They're mm -hmm. like 20 bucks half off. And I, no, you're good. And I looked up uh, sold comps on the women's and they only go for like 25 to 35, okay. but the men's new attack go like 50 plus. So that, the men's are what you're looking for. That was a size 12, so that would have been a women's size. So. Okay. So I, just, I handed them to her. She yeah. Put the next well, we appreciate over, it. So no problem. You got a pretty good haul. I'm not going to show you, but I'll show your cart. <laughs> There's a viewer right here. She's got a full cart. It looks like some Lily Blitzer well, on the top. The problem is it's for me. <laughs> oh, for you? Okay. Well, that's good. At least you're getting a discount. my husband's watching. It's not for me. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome, though. It's awesome. Full cart. Yeah, we got a, we got a full cart. Still got a couple couple more aisles to go through, and then we should be good. She actually found a bunch of stuff today, too. She's been doing pretty good. Cart. Yeah. Oh, I know. Yeah. She went from the first time we came here, she was at like four or five items. Then she went to 10 items. Now, the first time she comes back, she has 14 items that we end up keeping. So she's learning the that's brands. Awesome. And, Doing that's a lot better, awesome. so. Yeah, I am. Um, what size would you say that is? What would you say? Would, it, would that be Tom size? You know Tom. You've seen him. Um, <clears throat> probably. This is this is for him, but no, looks a little big, doesn't it? And I can't find a What's, size. Um, yeah, the size tag is ripped off. It would have been right there. Would have been the size tag, but um. It's only four bucks, so oh, even, I know. even yeah, if you I'm, get it, yeah, I'm getting it. Yeah, you can always sell it at a garage sale for a dollar and make a little <laughs> bit of your money back if you had to. Well, it was always good seeing you. Good seeing you. 
yeah. I've got a good card. Good I card. Wait for tonight's haul. Yep. Yeah, we'll go over it on live. I found a pair of first pair of rocks that I found at this store. What is it? Rock Revival jeans. Oh, okay. First pair. Nice. Um, Seventeen fifty. So. Nice. Pay enough for them, but these always go for like fifty to sixty for me. So. Well, as always, I wish you guys the best of luck. You I know appreciate that. it. I appreciate All it. Right. It's always good seeing you. Good seeing you yep. too. I'll good see you on live tonight. Yeah, I'll see you tonight. Yep. <laughs> All right. Somebody said, the, uh, is this worth picking up? DSL? I didn't look at the chat. It looks good. It looks quality. They feel quality, but I'm not, I'm not sure. No? Okay. Thank you for answering. All right, that'll be it for this aisle. We got, I think, one more aisle to go through, and then we're done. Yes. Yes. People are saying yes. People are saying no. Okay, wait. Man of the people. Yeah, I try. I try to do my best. What do we got here? We got a hidden stash. Oh, that's the one with the logo on, on the front. Hmm. Somebody hit this. This is a denim. It's a denim Orvis shirt for six fifty. We'll take that. Twenty five on Posh. Okay, we'll we'll pass on those then. They're not worth it. All right. Get it? Yes. Orvis is good. Yes. Orvis is good. If you pick up styles like that, Orvis is good. Camo. Let's see what the camo is. The brand of the camo is that right there. I don't know if that's a good brand. <laughs> Uh, I can't even pronounce that if I tried. Tommy Bahama. There's another pair of 511 Tacticals. We'll pick these up. They're only five bucks. They're a good pickup, 511 Tacticals. $40 for a Tom Brady Super Bowl jersey. Is that a good price? I don't know. You'd have to, you'd have to look up comps. Off the top of my head, I, I wouldn't be able to tell you. After this aisle, we'll take a lap around the store. You guys can see what the store is all about. There's another pair of 511 Tacticals. These are full price though, so we're gonna pass. We'll leave those there for next week. This is Goodwill? No, this is red, white, and blue. Goodwill in my area hasn't really had good stuff. Um, I, then again, I haven't been there in, uh, I haven't been to Goodwill in a couple months, so maybe I should give them another shot. But recently I've just been going to this store in Salvation Army. By the way, the Salvation Army live thrift that we did yesterday, that'll be up on YouTube this weekend. Um, I'm probably going to save those videos for the weekend because um, I don't want to put up like all the content right in the middle of the week. I kind of want to spread it out a little bit. Celebration lap. I'll make a celebration lap. We'll take a field trip. Everybody likes a good field trip. Here's another pair of AGs. Um, somebody asked about the name. The name is right there. Adriano Goldschmied. Um, these are full price though, so we're going to pass on those. So those will probably be here next week. Unless somebody watching comes and steals them from me. Those vultures, you vultures in the chat. We are vultures. Vultures unite. Uh, do you only sell? Uh, I only sell pretty much yeah adult clothing. If I sell um, kids clothing, it's got to be a really really good brand like North Face jackets, Patagonia jackets. Those are like items that I would pick up in a kids clothing. But like normal brands like Ralph Lauren stuff like that, I would I wouldn't pick those up in a kids brand unless you're getting them like super cheap and you don't mind selling them for you know super cheap. Me, myself, I don't play around with those little margins. Tags are Vulture View. Vultures, unite! We are all vultures. Clothing arts. What is that? Imagine where to travel. Clothing arts. Hmm. A box. Clothing arts. Why does that sound familiar? Tell me why that sounds familiar. Um, have you ever done a bulk buy? Yes, I've done a bulk buy. That's the brand, is that the brand? Is that the brand? Why does that sound familiar? Is that the brand that everybody was telling me to pick up? That's the brand, right? Yes, okay. We found it. Clothing Arts. It wasn't here last week, definitely wasn't here last week because it's a green tag, which means it was just put out. Those are 40 plus, okay. That was not here last week, trust me. But. That sound, I, I figured that was, I was like, wait, is that the brand that everybody's telling me to pick up last week? Okay, we're getting them. It's only six bucks. Clothing Arts, that's such a weird tag. It looks like such a chinzy, chinzy little, little tag on there. Clothing Arts. Yeah, with K-Way, it's a bulk buy every time he's at red, white, and blue. 
that's a good that's a good one that's a good one kids tag it's definitely not kid size it can't be a kid size it's got to be a men's yeah it's a four, size 42 i don't know many kids that are a size 42 definitely a men's size but that's it that's it poshmark 87 brand new 125 i think risner was the one that told me about the clothing arts right 40 to 60 on ebay ebay 40 to 50 okay they're six bucks i'm actually going to give them a shot even if they don't have great comps i actually kind of want to try them out no it was you okay it was you it was young young told me about it what brand are you oh ll bean nah they're not a good enough ll bean for me do you ever buy levi's yeah i buy vintage levi's um, I'm, I do buy new Attag Levi's. We actually have a pair of Levi's down there in the bottom. Brand new Attags. I normally pay like 10 bucks for them here. Some REI. There's a pair of Levi's right there, but we don't pick up these kind of Levi's. Good brand. Good wearable brand. Just don't have good resale value for that particular pair. How do you, how do you know if Levi's are vintage? They're made in USA. By the way, appreciate everybody hopping in. We're almost to 150K likes, so tap that screen. If you're not following, hit that follow button, top left-hand corner. I don't know what you're doing. You're, you're hanging out, you're watching, but you're not following. So I do these lives every single week. So if you want to be able to come back every week, hang out, talk to chat, learn some new things about thrifting, and maybe start your own little reselling business, this is the way to do it. This is definitely the way to do it. There's another pair of AG jeans. These will be here next week. We'll pick these up next week. And chat says I have a soothing voice. So, I mean, if you want to come back to a soothing voice, First Tactical. I've never seen this brand before. First Tactical. I wish I could look up comps. I wish I had another phone. I need to get another phone. First Tactical. Hmm. Somebody in chat will tell me if it's good. Get First Tactical. See, I kind of had a feeling. I had a feeling about that. I just had a weird feeling. And we trust, we trust Risner. Risner, we trust Risner with our thrifting life. Risner is one of the big vultures. She's a big vulture. I am just a baby vulture. <clears throat> no one first? 10 to 20? Risner, are you letting me down? I just called you a big vulture. Risner, what do you think I, I could sell those for? They're only $5. There's another 5.11 Tactical. We'll pick those up. We got lots of these today. I like picking up 511 Tactical. Yes, I'm first Tactical. Skip 20 to 25. First Tactical 20, 20 new, 35. I'll look them up afterwards. I'll keep them in my cart. I trust Risner with my thrifting life. She will not. She will not murder me here. Um, first Tactical, get it. Okay, everybody saying get it. Got people saying get it. People saying don't get it. People saying we're all vultures. There's another pair of AGs. Man, I wish these were cheaper. I pick all these up. Seven dollars and fifty cents. We'll wait till next week. They're not worth it at fifteen. Three hundred listed, ninety-five sold. Hmm. I'll look them up. I'll look them up. Comps all over the place. Risner update. Risner. Risner left to go look up comps. Risner will be back. Appreciate the roses, mushroom. Thank you so much. 511 Tactical is good, yes. Rizner. Appreciate you for all the roses. Thank you, thank you. There's another pair of AG. These are 10. These are Everett, and they're definitely bigger. I think we left these behind last week because they had a stain on them. Maybe, maybe these aren't the pair that we left. I'm actually going to pay up for these. I'm going to pay $10 for these because I normally get around $40 for these. <clears throat> You're going to be on YouTube later? Um, not on YouTube. This this will be on YouTube later, yes. It'll be up on YouTube at the end of the day. Um, but me, I'm going to be not on YouTube today. We are putting out full-length YouTube videos next week, though. So be on the lookout for those. Marker? 
Marker Ski Pants. There's the brand right there, Marker. I don't know if that's a good brand. These feel quality. They look quality. Marker. See, I don't have, we, I don't know ski brands because we don't do skiing here in Florida, so. Hmm. They're only seven. They're actually four. There's 15. No one marker? Okay. They looked quality, but they're a no. They're actually a little too much. I, I wouldn't probably spend 15 on those anyway. Eddie Bowers. All right, let's take our um, victory lap. Well, first, let's check this section really quick. I always like to skim the jackets. I'm not much of a jacket seller, but sometimes you can find some good ones just mixed in here. We'll take our victory lap. We'll check on Wifey, see where she's at, see how many more items she's picked up. She did really, really good today. Um, I left my cart down there. It's a cardinal sin. Oh, these are all... Lifel, Lifel hunting gear. Oh, this looks quality. You ever find Burberry? Yeah, I found Burberry quite a few times. Lifel hunting gear. Lifel. <clears throat> yes. Okay. Sometimes hunting gear can be worth tons of money. Tons and tons and tons of money. Yeah, lots of military uniforms. There definitely is here. There's the uh, life fall. Gem pickers, appreciate you for the roses. Let's see what else they got mixed in here. These are all military gear, military gear. Military, military. Are U.S. Air Force pants. Which military pants are worth good money? Military items. These are U.S. Air Force pants made um, especially for U.S. Air Force. Nice khaki. That's old. Not those. Okay. I don't know which military. I need to do more research on what military items are actually worth picking up because there's tons here. Marine and Air Force. Okay. They don't use that air uniform. 20 bucks, outdated. Um, how much is Plyfall? I don't know, how much is Plyfall? Does it, did anybody look this up? How much is this? I have questions. You have questions. For the chat. For the chat. I, I know you said women's, but it's a wool jacket. Oh, that's probably worth picking up. This, Six is, a, this is a vintage Pendleton, 100% wool. So women's, yeah, it's worth definitely worth picking up. We'll scoop that. 35-ish. Well, it's half off, though. Yeah, that's a pickup. Yeah? Yeah. It's uh, North Face, women's size small. It's only, I don't know if that's a 19 or... I think it's a... F I don't know. Either way, even at 10, I think I'd pick that up. All right, here's my question. Ladies... Saks Fifth, is that like a good Saks Fifth Ave? We'll blend the cardigan. Saks Fifth Ave, it's 13 bucks. It's full price. Oh, it's green. Uh, yeah, it's green. it's green. Yeah, it but is. okay, so if this was half off, is that like a yes? Saks Fifth is good. Everybody's saying yes. Push it by fall, 30 plus ship. Okay. Men's, no on Saks. No on Saks. Okay, but if it was cheaper? Mm, it probably if it was cheaper, yeah. Okay. I'll put that back. Uh, Ooh, I already see. This is good. Yeah? Yeah. There's a maternity. Maternity? Okay, so page jeans, I normally pass on them if they're women's. These are $10, but these are maternity page jeans. These are like probably anywhere between 40 and 50 bucks, maybe even a little higher because they're a good size. Always pick up women's maternity jeans. They sell really well. I don't, it's a top. I don't think I've ever grabbed a rag and bone top. It's a um, bucks. No. Five bucks on a women's rag and bone. Yay, man. I think this is all right. I think we it. can get 25 for this. I think we get 25 for that. These are mine. Those are it's yours. Those are my athletic shorts now. Athletic shorts. These are hers. These are a couple bucks. These are. Are we saying let yes to Plythal? Okay, cool. Athletic running shorts. Athletic running shorts. They're only four bucks. I mean, 
we're gonna pick these up. They're probably not a huge seller, but they'll probably sell pretty quick now that we're almost to that um, summertime. Men or not? That is probably a men's. Oh, well, it says four women on it. <laughs> oh, four women? Okay, no, it's a woman's then. So pass. Um, no, know. because it's five bucks, so I grabbed it. I'll flip the uh, tag. Show me the inside tag really quick. What time are you live tonight? 9.30. We're going to go over all these finds at 9.30. Okay, what is the hood? Does it say what the hood is made out of? Uh, lining, filling, down, I don't know, made in USA, shell, nylon lining. Line, it says lining. It doesn't say what the hood's made out of. Filling. But this does feel like it's Wait. actual fox, I believe. This might be fox Wait, or something else. This doesn't feel... I'm not really an expert in this, but it doesn't really say it. deep forest. Looks like coyote. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Coyote. That's the other one I was looking for. Coyote. I think this is coyote, and if it is, it's worth a good amount of money because it's coyote fur. Well, it has the name in it right here. Does it deep say coyote? Forest? No, I'll it flip, flip it forest. over. Uh, oh, coyote. Yeah. Yep, in it is. stock, remove coyote rough from garment. Yep. So it is coyote. So six dollars. For six dollars. Look at that. That's probably, this might actually be one of the best finds today. The coyote. Holy. You guys should be on my live wow. because I've done better you. got to get her to live. I've only got like 450. I'm you got to get her, her on live. K the book nerd. I'm having a blast walking over there by myself. Right, somebody so somebody pin her name down below. You guys go follow her. Well, yeah. Yeah, three bucks. You know we're, we're picking that up for three bucks. Another North Face. Puffer. another north face puffer it's, it's only, 19 so yeah but it's, it's a it's small. a puffer so 10 bucks for a north face it's a good one i got a couple more bras man you These actually probably find the best found today you beat me today good job, man. I and those are those shirt. are everything we've already been through no these are more bras oh more I bras think. but yeah we're we're not gonna go over this. what's up big al when, when you're done filming come find me i got a bucket all right sounds good i think we did good I'll grab like five or six more bras oh sweet nothings i had a question Sweet nothing. I found this and I feel like I've seen the name. Sweet nothing. Just sold the coyote form. for 240. You're welcome. <laughs> Remind me to take my own sweet TikTok nothings. video of everything. We'll I look found. that up afterwards. Does anybody know Chat, if sweet nothing? Sweet nothing. Sweet yeah. nothing. So good. I know like there's Third Love and there's like another brand I can't remember. Same Walmart. Saying Walmart. It's sweet nothing. So no. It's. Sweet nothing's is a no. Is that no? Okay, good. It was two bucks. Anyways. Okay. Uh, hang it, uh, hang it at the end of the rack. They'll find it. You want me to put a bra between the jeans and surprise Put it next her? to the next to the uh, military outfits. I think it, somebody might pick that up with a bra. All right, I'm gonna move some stuff over to your cart really quick, and then I'm gonna take a we're gonna take a victory lap. Are Obviously, you done? yeah, I'm done. I just thrifted everything, so we're gonna take a victory lap. I want to go show the front to everybody, um, and then we will go over everything. We'll check it for stains. That's normally what we do at the end. Check everything for stains. The Woolrich new is over 800. It's not new, unfortunately, so we're not gonna be able to get 800 for it, but I think probably the three, three-ish three range, maybe? I've never found a uh, Woolrich like that, so. Coyote hooded Woolrich, let's go. They wash clothes before you sell? No, only if they have stains or bad smells. Should I go do like a cartwheel around the house? Actually, we're gonna leave this one. This one's got stains all over it. Oh, there's a stain on the front? Yep, we're leaving that one. We gotta look up. We got a lot of stuff to look up today. What's her um, What's her live? She's here. K let me hop in and I'll say. Yeah, she's gonna she's gonna hop in really quick and then I'll pin her comment. So we'll um, you guys can all go follow her. This would have been a good one. <clears throat> yeah, this would have been a really good one for you. Mm -hmm. You found a bunch of goodies. A bunch of goodies. Goodies. All right, I put it. hi guys. That's me. All right, there she is right there. Everybody go follow Kay the Book Nerd. That's my wife. If we get her to 1,000, that's not only going to be my backup account, but that'll be the, uh, she'll be able to go live too. No on the, okay, I'll look that up afterwards. <clears throat> All right, let's go take a victory lap. And we're going to say, Wifey's what's up? Over. Good job, me. To Big Al. She is taking over. I'm going to cheeseburger now. <laughs> I know, we are going to go get some cheeseburger. Oh, we forgot to look at shoes today. That's what, one thing we need to look at is shoes. Shoes, shoes, shoes. I don't normally look at shoes. I leave this for um, the college reseller, but we'll just take a peek at them. You can see this short store has tons of shoes. 
pair of LeBron fly knits. What do they want for these? $19.99. Are these half off or no? What color are they? It says uh, green. No, they're not half off. LeBron fly knits. They would have been a good pair. They would have been a good pair, but they're not half off. Um, g Defy, not half off. Good brand to be on the lookout for. brand new at the back end. Let's pull my cart over here. It's a couple brand new carts of shoes. Always check the new carts. There's another pair of GDFIs right there. These ones are only $7.50. They do have some wear to them, but this is a really good brand. $7.50 for GDFIs. I might actually scoop these. Let's do it. I don't pick up too much shoes, but these are, this is a good brand. Um, that's a cool place, nicely organized, definitely. Definitely, definitely a good good place to go thrifting. We come here once a week. Um, that's why, because it's, it's so good. Um, let's see, what do we got? see anything in those carts she's also stocking right now so I don't want to reach in the cart while she's stocking give her her space these are dirty very very dirty Hocus. I didn't notice my battery thing went off. Another pair of Hoka's. A little too much. I don't want to pay 20 bucks for Hoka's. Ethan might actually pay 20 bucks for those, but I am not going to pay 20 bucks for Hoka's. Limited edition Converse. Yes, be on the lookout for those as well. I don't think that pair was limited edition, was it? Huh? You're already over halfway? pair of Jordans. Those might be fake though. Another pair of Hoka's. These are missing the insole and they are pretty beat. So they're only $7.50 but the bottoms are pretty worn so we're going to pass on those. It's another pair that Ethan might scoop up if he's he comes here he might actually pick those up. All right let me go down the next aisle. And then we should be good to go. take a walk I'm gonna take a walk to the front um, show them the front and then we'll make a lot lap around and then we'll come back oh, yeah. I they didn't put out more wait is that Ed Hardy hoodie look like Ed Hardy it's not Ed Hardy though look like Ed Hardy for a second Went really quick. Let's go through. This is a new rack. Check 
out the new rack, see if they put anything good on here. Oh, maybe this is the old rack. This actually looks like the old rack that I've already been through. Yeah, we're good. Okay, let's make a trip up to the front of the store. Has Ed already on the bottom? Is it Ed already? Oh, it is Ed already. Yeah, it is Ed already. It doesn't have the label on it, though. They want, they want 40 bucks for it, though. That's, this is normally a good pickup, but this is too much for an Ed Hardy hoodie. And a Patagonia right here too. They want 12. Another pair of Patagonia shorts. They want 13, sorry, 13 for those. This is a new rack. Let's make a wrap, lap around. <clears throat> that cart is full. Yeah, we not only got one, we got two full carts today. How many shopping carts did you get on average trip? Normally we get one, so we'll we'll uh, take this down and we'll make it a little bit of a smaller cart by the end because some of these items, of course, are going to have stains and they're not going to be worth picking up. A couple items I have to do look up on eBay before I actually pick them up too. So a lot of this stuff, uh, we can normally pick up a bunch of it, but there are like maybe five, six items that we'll end up putting back. Kayla's at 583, let's go. Let's get her to 1,000 and then we can do, just in case, you know, people get mad at K-Way and they ban me, we can continue to do the lives. <clears throat> and of course she can do her lives on her end too. Where are you? Okay, find me back here, I'm on with Lizzie. Okay. Where are you throwing out? It's called red, white, and blue. This is the money rack. It's a men's Lululemon polo. They want 15 for it. It's a little too much. So women's Lululemon. They want 34. Gymshark. So Robert Graham. They want 30 for this Robert Graham. It's not a silk one. If this was silk, I might consider picking it up. But this is a cotton Robert Graham. Nice one though, Robert Brown. Bunch of Lulus up here. Lots of Lululemon. They sure know how to spot their Lululemon in this store. Look at the jewelry. The stuff over here. Tons of jewelry, I don't know what I'm looking for. ATM, yep, it's a cash only store, so that's why they have ATM here. All right, let's make it. Amazing, I don't even know if it's actually Like, I didn't even touch boxes. And you still got pretty much a full cart, that's pretty cool. I didn't go through dresses. Look at purses, purses are scattered everywhere here. It's all the ATMs. Get that pogo stick, I'll buy it from you. <laughs> I'm not gonna ship a pogo stick. Are you kidding me? I found a pair of rock revivals today. Right there. Nice. They haven't missed me over there, but it's 30. It's not even half off. Do you want to know what I found? I took a video. Hmm. It's this gorgeous Burberry trench coat. $450. Hmm. $450 for a Burberry and trench coat? And then it's coat. white tag, so it's actually like two something. Mm -hmm. but Tap still. space. Tap my face. All right, we're going to head to the back of the store, and then what we'll do is we'll go over everything, make sure, check for stains and all that good stuff, check up comps. Um, we'll be doing a live later tonight, going over everything that we found. So make sure you come back to live it is at 9.30 <laughs> tonight, 9.30 Eastern time. Come back, hang out, look at everything we found. We're probably going to have, it's probably going to be at least an hour long live because of how much stuff we found today. So definitely consider coming back. Appreciate the follows that are coming in too. Yeah, make sure you're following. You'll get a notification as soon as I go live. 
And uh, yeah, we're headed to the back of the store. So I'm gonna end it here. If um, you guys missed any part of this live, by the way, it's gonna be up on my YouTube channel later today. So you guys can go rewatch it, watch the entire thing. It's gonna be an awesome one. Lots of uh, goodies were found today. So appreciate you guys hanging out. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.